One of my favorite terms in math is rationalizing the denominator just because it sounds so nerdy. Like the minute it comes up, people don't want to learn it. It's called rationalizing the denominator. And the question is, A, like what does that even mean? And B, why, you know, like I remember seeing this when I was a kid and they said, you know, simplify. And my first question was like, what is wrong with it as it stands now? It looks fine to me. But there's a law in the world that you cannot have this a root in the denominator. It's just like a no-no, like you could do some time for that. So this is illegal because there is a root in the denominator and we need to remedy that. We need to rationalize a denominator. And the way to do it is if you understand the nature of roots, really if you multiply this by itself, by definition, you'll have now you'll have the square root of nine, which is just three, the root disappears. But you can't do anything to the bottom without doing it to the top. So Whatever I do to the bottom, if I multiply by itself, I multiply the top by exactly the same thing, right? And then this comes down to like, do I know how to multiply a whole number times a root? The good news for you is you don't do much. The answer is two root three. Two times root three, two root three. You know, six times root 11, six root 11. So then the bottom, <coughs> I already kind of gave you the end, but basically that would be root nine or just three. And I recommend after you get good at that, don't actually multiply them and find the root. Just know that whenever you multiply two things that are the root of something, the answer is the inside. So for example, so this is, this is done, I'll box that. But just to move on with this thought, if you had like root of seven times root of seven, don't think, it's seven. If you had root of 131 times root of 131, don't think it's 131. So that's rationalizing the denominator. It's pretty easy. I get that you might be questioning how this is going to advance your life, but I wouldn't focus on that now. I'd focus on how, how to get this done correctly, and that would be the correct simplified version of that. You know, ironically, this is what we started with. Ironically, that looks worse than that, but at least it's not breaking any mathematical laws, and you're not going to, no one's going to call the cops. And remember, if you're struggling with Algebra 2 at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School and the credits will be transferred back to your school.